Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. If you want to get guys easy profits, join our monthly subscription, buy me a coffee slash Mind Your Crypto, you will find the link in the description down below and you will surely get easy profits even on a bearish market. Of course, I have the Telegram group chat, I have the link in the description down below as well if you want to join our family. So yesterday I told you guys to be extremely, extremely careful for AMP and now we are having the massive correction right we are going down to probably 8 cents I draw my Fibonacci retracement from this bottom guys to this top because I want to find more of a short-term support levels if I wanted more of a mid-term I would just draw my Fibonacci retracement level starting from this bottom 19th May ending up to this top 16 June. The reason is you get more of a midterm support levels. So yes, eventually we can get to 6 cents as we correct. But for now, let's see what are our major support levels for the short term. You can see the 0.618 is a major support line, the 8 cents guys. It is very, very crucial to stand here and go upwards. But how far can we go down guys? How far can we go down because it is very usual you can see it very very often guys what to do to stop here and to have a swing high from there to stop around 0.236 then go down again so we might see that we might not the thing is here we are correcting we are in a correction here and of course we need to be patient for those who bought at the top be patient guys everything will be fine Let's go now to the MACD guys. You can see on the MACD, what are we having is that we went down from the previous high. So we lost our higher high, higher low pattern. You can see here, we went down from this line. Now we are correcting. Now things aren't looking so good for AMP. And of course we need to see whether we will be going upwards or downwards, right? We need to see what we are going to do. So let's go now to the RSI and the commodity channel index on the 4-hour frame. You can see here we are getting into an oversold situation, right? So a swing high is pretty, pretty possible at the 8 cents. We might have a swing high here and then go down again. We are going in an oversold situation because we are beyond minus 100, almost guys, beyond minus 100 for the commodity channel index. You can see we might go beyond this area right here, beyond this gray zone. Same here for the RSI, but the RSI doesn't stand in an oversold situation yet because you check firstly the commodity channel index, secondly the RSI. That's how it goes, guys. You check the commodity channel index because eventually this might be our short-term bottom for the RSI and then move upwards because commodity channel index will be in an oversold situation, All right? So according to the SL channel, guys, the red line is above the green line. We don't have any buying opportunity at all. We have here the red line above the green line. When the red line is above the green line, we don't have a buying opportunity. When the opposite happens, we are having a buying opportunity, right? So we are going now to AMP USD, guys, but on the daily frame. I want to start with the SSL hybrid. You can see here, when we are having a buying opportunity, we have the blue arrow here. When we want to short a selling opportunity, we are having a red arrow. You can see here, we formed a red arrow on the daily frame, so we should sell here. And eventually, if we get another blue arrow, we would buy. This indicator, guys, in general, it is good, but it can't identify the top easily or a better selling opportunity. It is good for a buying opportunity, but for a selling opportunity, it is okay. It is not so good, right? But I would suggest you have it in your analysis. It is pretty, pretty cool. And now we want to go and see the Bollinger Bands to see something, guys, very, very cool on the daily frame for the Bollinger Bands. I will close the SL Hybrid. When we are having an impulsive wave, we are going along with the top line of the Bollinger Bands. So we are having here multiple risks, but we are on an impulsive wave. So we don't care, right? We don't care. Now we have gone inside the Bollinger Bands. Now we might correct even, even more, even if we have a swing high. You can see here why I told you yesterday that we are having a high risk. Lower commodity channel, but higher price. We were getting higher price, but lower commodity channel index in the daily frame, lower highs 
in the commodity channel index indicator. This means, guys, that we are approaching a top. That's why I told you guys, be extremely careful yesterday, right? Be extremely careful. You can see now the RSI is correcting. The commodity channel index is inside this minus 100 and 100 between those numbers. And of course, the MACD now, we want to see if we will have the bearish cross here. What we don't want to see, of course, is this bearish cross. But if we see that, then we are going to correct even more. The only thing that can save us, that can save us, guys, from this bearish cross is only if we get rejected on the signal line and go upwards for the blue line, right? This is what we can do in order to prevent this cross here, this very, very bearish cross. Let's go now to AMP against Bitcoin, the Bitcoin chart. I won't stand much here, guys. You can see the big bearish candle here. We might found support, but at the same time, I think this green candle will become a red candle, right? So it will... It is looking better, guys, than the USD chart. However, we are correcting that, and on the 4 hour frame, we don't have any oversold situation yet. You can see the Commodity Channel Index is inside this gray area, sits at minus 60 around there, and our bottom, bottom line is minus 100. So, therefore, all right, we might find the swing high here. However, guys, big bearish candle form on the 4 hour frame. This is a huge bearish candle guys you can see it so we are correcting even more in the next days do not worry but we are correcting even more right you can see the MACD here we lost our support level our previous top now we are going down again let's go to the daily frame same here guys on the daily frame i won't stand much of course we have to correct because look at the distance between the price and the 20 day ema we have to let the emas the exponential moving average reaches reach the price we have to let them reach the price right so that's why we are correcting right now another reason is we had an extremely overbought situation double top on the daily frame you can see here for the rsi now we are correcting even more same here for the commodity channel index right so right now we are don't stand in a very good position you can see here on the four hour frame i would go now to the price analysis you can see that we closed above the support level and of course, we want to see, guys, if we can go even higher. Here, I've drawn the mid-term, the mid-term Fibonacci retracement level, starting from this bottom. So I will draw now my Fibonacci retracement level to see a more of a short-term price analysis for the next few days. You can see here we approach this bottom right here, and I've drawn my Fibonacci retracement from this swing low right there, guys. This swing low to the swing high we have right here, right? So I wanted to find in that way major support levels. This one, 8 cents, is our next major support levels and a very, very crucial one, the 0.618 Fibonacci tracement line. Because if we approach here, guys, this area, we might see a significant swing high then go down. It is always the case, guys, most of the cases when we are seeing a correction, we might approach a bottom, then have a swing high, then go down again. So here it is very possible to have the swing high. We are approaching an oversold situation, guys, on the 4-hour frame. You can see that where the pink line it is. For the RSI, it is not the same, but usually, guys, we are watching the commodity channel first. We want to see if the commodity channel index will go below this gray area, below the minus 1. If it goes below, then of course we are having an oversold situation, right? And now that's why I told you guys to be careful the daily commodity channel index before lower highs for the commodity channel index, but higher highs in the price. We were approaching a top. Therefore, I told you extremely, be extremely careful, guys, right? So therefore, we didn't have, of course, a buying opportunity around here. We had this big bearish candle guys right here you can see the red candle and though we knew that we are going a little bit downwards right we are correcting for now you don't have any buying opportunity for now i believe we might stop at eight cents and then have a swing high this might be our short-term bottom however we will see about that guys because 50 day ma all this the 0 0.618 might be our support levels but in general guys 
in the next days, I believe after the Shanghai, if we have the Shanghai, we will go further down. So I suggest you to wait. And as we go down from this line here, from six cents, you want eventually to buy more, right? As we go down, you want to invest some more. Less here, more here. Less money here, guys, as you dip more money in the next support levels, because eventually there will be a day that we will see a swing high again and you will take profits. For now, I suggest you to wait. If you want to swing trade, then you can check the Komoot Channel Index, guys, when we are having an oversold situation. But in overall, I suggest you to wait. I wouldn't invest right here personally, because even if I, if I see, guys, a very significant swing high, then it doesn't worth the risk, right? It doesn't worth the risk. However, I told you already, it is very possible to stop here at 8 cents, then have a swing high. Because as we approach the 8 cents, we will be getting into an oversold situation as well, right? We will be getting into an oversold situation in this area right here. So it is possible to see that. However, this is a big bearish candle on the 4 hour frame. And of course, we don't want to see the Bitcoin chart because eventually, guys, the Bitcoin chart right here, you can see. Even if we go upwards, guys, and we have, we break the 39,500 again and we go above, then this doesn't mean that AMP will go upwards because now AMP is correcting in Bitcoin chart, right? So therefore, right now, it is the moment that AMP will have its correction no matter what. I believe after approaching the 8 cents, the 0.618 Fibonacci support level, we are going upwards, right? We are going upwards. And if you want the 0.618 for a more of a midterm, guys, price analysis, then I will draw my Fibonacci retracement starting from the bottom on 19th May. You can see here the bottom on 19th May, ending up to the top here. And you can see the 0.618 is around this area at 6 cents, right? So you can see a more of a medium price analysis, but for the short term, we have to break the 8 cents first, right? This is what we care for, breaking the 8 cents. Eventually, we might have a swing high here before we go down. Thank you for watching, have a fantastic day wherever you are, and of course, see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye!